Would you like someone to be straight up with you about what happens after you die? I mean, right after your heart stops beating and you're physically declared dead, what happens to you? Now, I know a lot of young people don't tend to think about this, but when I was just 13 years old and found out that I was an insulin-dependent type 1 diabetic, I went into a comatose state and nearly lost my life. And it was after that that God really started getting hold of me. And I began to grapple with the Word of God. I began to really seek after the Lord for what does happen after we die. Because no matter what we think, life is brief on this earth. And so I want to share with you, you know, after your physical body dies, obviously that body stays here on earth. But we all know that there's something about you that is more than your body. And according to the word of God, it's your spirit. It's the undying part of you. The part of you that through Jesus Christ can relate to God if you choose to. Or can reject God. And so when a person physically dies, immediately, immediately, their spirit either goes into God's presence, what we now call heaven, or their spirit goes immediately out of God's presence to a place of torment that what many call, it's what many call hell. And these are both temporary places because until God brings this world to a conclusion, until Jesus returns and remakes this earth, the heaven that we speak of now and the hell that we speak of now are temporary. But nonetheless, when a person dies, their body stays here on earth and their spirit goes either to be with God or to be in that place of torment away from God's favor. The Bible is clear that to go to hell is torment. Spiritual, emotional, physical, relational torment, a place of no hope. And then at the return of Christ, now these both happen in different time frames or two different events, but right around the return of Christ at what we call the rapture, the bodies of people who have already died and trusted in Jesus as Savior, at the rapture, their bodies are going to rise up out of the ground and meet their spirits in the air. Jesus is going to bring their spirit to meet their body that rises from the grave, and they will be whole again, spirit and body reunited in Christ. And then we Christians will have glorified, undying, sinless, perfect, glorious bodies forever after that. Now, after the tribulation, there is the great white throne judgment, and that is the place where those who rejected Jesus and have already died, where their spirits will be reunited with their bodies to stand before God and to be officially sentenced. Yes, they've been in hell, separated from him, but now they will be officially sentenced in their physical bodies to the eternal lake of fire. And I, I know that this is hard to understand, but Jesus was abundantly clear on it. In John chapter 5, Jesus said, don't be amazed at this. There's a time coming when everyone, when all who are in their graves, that means all who have died, all who have suffered physical death, will hear the voice of the Son of Man. And they will come out of their graves. Jesus said, don't be amazed by that. 
both those who are saved and unsaved, whose spirits have already gone either into the presence of the Lord or to torment of hell, all of those people whose bodies are still on earth, one day their bodies are going to hear the voice of the Son of God and come out of the grave. For Christians, that's the time of the rapture. For the unsaved, that's at the great white throne judgment. But Jesus said, those who have done what is good will rise to live forever to the resurrection of life. But those who have done what is evil will rise to be condemned. They will go to the resurrection of judgment. They'll have their bodies, undying bodies forever. Bodies that can tolerate the torment of hell forever and ever and ever. It is critically important that you understand there is coming a day when even if you are pushing the way the, the voice of Jesus right now, you will hear that voice. And if you push his voice away any other time, you ultimately will once and for all hear that voice when your body is in the grave and he calls you out to final judgment. Jesus wants us to hear his voice now. In John chapter 5, the Lord also says this. He says that a time is coming and has now come when the dead, and, and here he means the spiritually dead, people who are physically alive but spiritually do not know God. They're, they're, the time has come now when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who will hear will live. So you can hear the voice of Jesus right now and your spirit can be made alive in Christ. Your sin can be forgiven and you can be made right with God so that you are guaranteed that when you die, Though your body will, will be resting here on earth for a time, your spirit, the real you, will immediately go into the presence of the Lord. I'm just being honest, truthful with you. When you die, you are immediately in God's presence or in torment away from God's favor. And then eventually, your body is given back to you to either live gloriously, sinlessly, without sickness, without distress, without sin forever, or your body is given back to you to endure torment forever because you rejected the only source of real life, of real hope, of real joy and that source his name is Jesus Christ listen to him now hear him now as he's calling to you even through this video rather than hearing his voice when it's too late Jesus loves you he died on the cross for you to take away every bit of guilt to cleanse all your sin and you can Know him today and rest assured that when you die, you'll be immediately in his presence. Lord, I pray right now for every person who has watched this video. If they don't yet know you as Savior, let them call upon you now. And if they already do know you, let us be convicted to tell people the truth. Dear Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. God bless you.